Hey guys, I want to do another Seachem Paragard video. Uh, this is my 10 gallon quarantine tank. And in this tank I have two uh, cardinal tetras that don't look very good. And I am treating them with the, I guess you could call it the one hour dip. I'm actually doing it for longer because these fish seem okay. But it is the triple concentration dosage. And I'm gonna try and zoom in on these guys without them getting freaked out so you can kind of see what I'm seeing. Hopefully this works. One of them has a fungus on its mouth and the other one has a little bit of something going on on its caudal fin or its tail fin. You can see there the guy on the left has white on his mouth. Now the guy on the left has that little bit of something on his caudal fin, his tail fin. So I isolated these two guys and I'm giving them a serious uh, paraguard treatment here. And uh, yeah, I don't know how long I'm going to let them soak in there for. They seem to be doing just fine. So, but that's the kind of thing that I think paraguard is so awesome for. You see a fish, you notice an external issue where it'd be viral, fungal, bacterial or parasitic but a lot of the time fish have comorbidities there's a couple of things happening at once for example a fish can get ick which is an external parasite but then the the lesions in the skin caused by the parasite get infected with a fungal or bacterial uh, entity that's in the water and invades it so I think that's why Paragard is so cool is because it kind of hits everything and it doesn't cause uh, bacterial resistance like antibiotics and stuff. And this is really temporary. You don't have to dose it for 20 days. You just do this dip at a high concentration and you just watch your fish. So yeah, I hope you guys can add Paragard to your arsenal. And that's just kind of a quick video on how I would use it. Thanks a lot for watching. Hey people, I wanted to do an update on my Seachem Paragard test. I did the triple dosage, the one that's indicated for a one hour dip focus. There we go. So three mils per gallon. This is a 10 gal aquarium, so I put 30 mils in. And it says to leave the fish in for about an hour. Watch for signs of stress. Well, these guys have been in here for about 12 hours with the triple dosage. And the filming here is probably going to be crap. But you can see here, Mr. Tetra, as the video I posted before, his caudal fin has something going on. So I thought I'd treat him. And this guy has something going on with his mouth. A fungal bacterial something growth on the his top lip I don't know if you can even see it oh maybe a little bit but I had them in here all night I did it I dosed it tomorrow yesterday sorry right in late in the afternoon and they've been in here all night and this is a guppy that had uh, its gills were quite inflamed and uh, its operculum was sticking out a little bit so I thought, may may as well give him a try. And he actually looks 100% better. His gills are not inflamed anymore. His operculum are kind of flush with the rest of his body. So that's kind of neat. But I guess my, my curiosity was to the toxicity of Paragard. Um, I, you know, the Tetras and the Guppies, they're, you know, completely different genetically they don't really have any similarities you know tetras are kind of more acidic loving and guppies are more alkaline loving so these guys survived all night and to me they look perfectly fine so I'm not trying to say you can do this with every fish not at all but what I am saying is I, you know they claim it's a lot less toxic than some of the other aldehydes used previously like formalin and I believe it because I didn't know what to expect with the you know showing up here in the morning so 
if you got some sick fish with something external, I definitely recommend trying Paragard. And I, I don't think it's, it's very toxic. Uh, obviously dose it and watch your fish. And if you're going to dose it more than recommended or for longer duration, uh, the responsibility is on you to watch your fish. And if they're showing signs of stress, if you think they're not doing well, get them out, put them in fresh water, and they should be okay. Thanks for watching, guys.